with the entire city on lockdown. Authorities are telling residents to stay inside until the surviving suspect in the Boston Marathon bombing is captured. The normally busy streets of Boston quiet with little traffic tonight. Cakes Jordan Shefty has reaction from a Boston resident. As we here in Wichita have been watching the events unfolding in Boston on television and online, I have a close connection that has been witnessing it all in person. My roommate in college, Carrie Pennywell, is from Kansas City but moved to Boston a couple years ago for work. Today, though, she's not at the office. Instead, she's been in her apartment on lockdown. Right now, it's just kind of eerily quiet. The bustling city of Boston is on lockdown. Police searching for one remaining suspect in the Boston Marathon bombings. In the midst of it all is Kansas native Carrie Pennywell. She now lives in Cambridge, the town directly to the east of Watertown. We're inside. It's very quiet outside. We have been instructed to keep our doors locked. Um, if anybody knocks to not let anybody in, um, you know, unless it's a Boston police. Sirens outside of her apartment window kept her up all night. This morning, she's been watching the news for updates. It's scary to see, you know, everything on the news and seeing like my basically my neighborhood, you know, where I get my coffee, you know, where we get our prescriptions to see all those um, it, as a crime scene is definitely scary. Carrie says that she feels like a magnet to the events unfolding. Her office building in Boston was just one block away from the marathon bombing. And last night she met up with colleagues right near MIT. One hour after she left, shots were fired on the campus. It's scary to know that they were like still, you know, amongst us. Um, we definitely thought at the time that they had, you know, escaped, were out of the city, but um, really they were right next door. Carrie says that from her apartment window, she has seen police and ambulances driving by all throughout the day. She says that while she feels safe at staying in Boston, she has received a number of calls from her parents ready to fly her back home here to Kansas for a while. Jordan Shefty, Cake News.